The conventional wisdom for writers is that you need to read a lot in across a very wide genre. And so this is one of the, I guess, pieces of advice that I tend to differ a bit on. Um, I, I'd say as a general rule, yeah, you, you know, reading the more books that you read, the more the more genres that you read, it, you're going to experience more. So there's, there's definitely a, a, an advantage in doing that. But just analyzing myself for the past couple of years, I only managed to read probably around a dozen books in a year. And of those dozen, I pick maybe one or two of those books. And what I do is I study them for about the full 12 months. So this obviously runs very, very counter to, I guess, the, the general wisdom. But my argument in favor of going in this direction is that when you read a lot, what you're getting is going to be the surface. Even even if you read with something of a very crit, you know, something of a very critical eye, you're not going to get as much out of a story if you read, say, a book a week, that you would if you spent a whole month reading that book. There, there's going to be little things you're going to notice. You're going to notice small things about sentence structure, about word choice, about an author's decision when it comes to pacing of their novel, how they structure their paragraphs. Um, there's a lot of small things that are involved with the writing process and so many small decisions that you as an author need to make that when you read, I believe people need to read with that same sort of critical eye only on the other end of it. So instead of you making the decisions when you're writing about this, you should be using that time to dissect why the author made their decisions. And then hopefully what will happen is you'll notice a few techniques that they've employed and use them yourself in your own writing. Now, keep in mind, this is just my own process. Although I'm saying that, that the longer it takes for you to read a work, you're probably going to take more out of it. I am by just by my nature a very slow reader. Uh, I I am someone that that just and I'm I'm someone that can't really shut off that 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 critical mind either. I'm always analyzing, so there, there's never any real pleasure reading for me anymore. Um, it, it's just one of those things where for me it's it's always I I'm always in, in that in that analyzing mode. So I'm I'm certain there's some people that that might maybe be able to read maybe two dozen three dozen books and still be able to to just analyze and, and sort of absorb the the choices of the author. Um, but for me, that that's what it averages out to about about a book a month. And I also mentioned that I study about two books a year. And so when I say study, what I do is I will select two books. It's one to two that I really enjoy. They're books that I really like by authors that I think are really talented. And I will spend the year doing exercises where I just read through sections and passages over and over again and try to absorb that author's that author's skill, that, that author's technique. I, I, I try and study very closely how they structure their work the, um, and, and, and how their style of, of their work operates. Um, I, I even do um, exercises like copy work, for example, where I'll just like have have the book on like a little lectern next to my desk and just actually type out entire pages of their work and just to get a feel for it to, 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 just to get a feel for what their sentences visually look like on the word processor it's one of those things where when you read a book in print it doesn't look the same way as it will on a word processor and all of your writing is done in a word processor unless unless you're writing like in a notebook your work is always going to be on a word processor. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the copy work to get to obviously get the feeling of, of typing those pages out, but it also lets me know, okay, 
if I'm trying to perhaps mimic this writer's style or, or there's something temp temp technique I really like, it helps to visually see what their work looks like on a word processor and I can get an idea for what my work when it's done needs to look like. And when I say what it looks like, I'm talking about the, the visual presentation of it. So like the, the, the shape of the paragraphs, the structure of the sentences, the you know, short sentences, long sentences, um, run-ons, how, how, how they use commas, things like that. It, it helps to actually see that like in, in an act. I'm, I'm a very visual learner. So it helps to physically see that on a word processor so I can look at that and sort of mimic that, that sort of style in, in a sense. And then take those techniques and then apply it to my own writing. That's what I, I, I call by studying. So I, I take about one or two books a year and, and I'll do that and I'll just try and dissect another author's style as basically as closely as I can. Uh, and and it, it, it's nice. It, it, I, there's a sense of, there's a very, there's a sense of, um, I don't want to say completion, but there's, there's a sense of, I, I can't quite identify the emotion, but when you, when you complete a work, when you read someone's work for a year and you've pretty much sucked all the marrow out of that bone, you look at it and you go, okay, I understand this author. You, you, you feel like you have understood the author on, on a different level than everybody else. You, you, you feel like maybe you understand their psyche a little bit better. I don't know how true that really is, but that, that, that's kind of the feeling that you get. And, you, and there's also a sense of, of like, hey, I, I read this story. Like I now know this story. Like the, the, these stories are very much ingrained in me. And, and if there are things that you really, these are you know, stories that you really enjoy and ones that you love, it, it's a good feeling to, to have that. And so that is that. Um, again, just to quick thing just kind of explaining my my reading process and sort of the the amount that I read I, I, I haven't really covered too much yet on you know reading for authors and, and things you know as far as techniques I mean there's not too much to a to a technique other than just analyzing but uh, you know you know reading is obviously a very important thing and so but much like how I, I preach the idea of you as a writer need to slow down and take your time with deciding what you write. I think that 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 exact same philosophy applies to reading, where just take your time and read and slowly analyze an author's choice and why they made the selections in the picks that they did. Um, I, I, I guess the final thing is I, I this also will be dependent on who you read. There are authors that I read that I'm pretty certain don't put a whole lot of um, thought necessarily in, into their word choice. They don't put a lot of um, thought into you, you know the intricacies here. They 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 there's there's you know they're they're published. I mean they they they're on you know traditionally published, but they're the ones that are are I I can tell they don't really struggle too much with with trying to come up with that exact word that exact sentence. They're not the the sort of craftsmen of writers if you want to call it that. They're you know nothing wrong with that, but there there are some works basically where I can see them being much faster reads and, and ones where you'll you sort of realize very quickly okay they didn't put a whole lot of thought into this, and so you probably can go through them much quicker just because there's not a whole lot to necessarily absorb from that. Um, so yeah, yeah, so there are some books that are much more, um, that are written with a lot less conscious thought. Obviously, those are not going to take nearly as long to analyze. You may have a much faster reading. If your goal is to study more, I would, then you, you'd want to kind of move away from perhaps reading those books. But you know, if your goal is just obviously to enjoy reading as well, I mean, nothing wrong with that, you know, mixing those books in either. But just something to be aware of with that, not every book is going to be some great classic that has the, the, these sentences that are, you know, these magnificent sentences and these words that, that you're going to gush over and, and that require all this detail. So keep that in mind. Um, but Still, I, I would encourage you to just take your time with your reading and focus more on going deep rather than wide. Focus on analyzing a few really, really, really well done books than reading a ton of them. And at the end of the year, kind of walking away 
thinking, well, did I really learn anything from him? Did I, did I really pick up any techniques? Did I really take anything away from any of these authors that I read? That is, is what I would implore. 